I got cystic fibrosis See I've got cystic fibrosis Hey everybody, welcome back to Staying Salty. My name's Chelsea. This week's video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal, but just as important because this week we're talking about medication storage and organization. This is a question we get asked a lot because as CFers, we have a buttload of medications and medical equipment and so many other things to keep count of and to keep track of. Sometimes it seems overwhelming, but the best way to stay on top of it, honestly, is to be as organized as possible and make it so it's not even something you have to think about anymore. I've touched on this in a few of my other videos that the way I organize everything, it kind of makes it a no-brainer. And it makes it so I don't miss treatments or anything like that because it's just laid out so easily to fit into my daily life that there's no reason why I wouldn't do it. And I think that's why organization, especially with CF, is key and huge to setting yourself up for success and doing the best you really can. So I'm gonna show you around my apartment show you some of my little tricks and tips that I have acquired over the years of how to organize and how I have everything laid out in my apartment so that you don't walk in and immediately know that you live in a house with a ton of medical equipment. So we're gonna start out here in the kitchen. If you can see, there's really nothing on any of the countertops because I like trying to keep my house as normal as it can be. So when people walk in, it doesn't immediately scream, this person has cystic fibrosis. So I try and keep everything a little bit hidden, but right here you see is my drying rack for all my nebulizers that come out of the dishwasher. But once you open the refrigerator, you can see up in this, what is this, the butter container, I keep all my open Toby and Pomazyme, my boxes of Pomazyme down here, and all the rest of my Toby. And if you see under the box of pizza that I keep all my other Palmazon, any other refrigerated medications down here in the space that I really don't use. I usually try and get 90 day supplies of medications just because that makes my life a whole lot easier. But it isn't until you actually open this giant cabinet that you can see that the person who lives in this apartment clearly has cystic fibrosis. We will start out up here. This clearly has, like I said, I'm in this research study where I have to do sputum samples every day. So I keep all the extras up there. This is actually a portable, what is it, tea kettle. So I can sterilize my meds while I'm traveling. Down to the next shelf, my Orcambi and my inhaler. Any extra overflow medication, like my Zenpep, I just kind of keep in here so I don't have to go and grab any. And down here is my daily most accessible shelf. So I keep all of my day-to-day -day medications in my pill container so that I can easily just wake up, grab them, and I don't have to think about anything. Over here is all my supplements and all my medications that go into the pill container I keep right here so when I have to refill it, it's super easy. I usually keep my um, inhaler and inhaled medications right here so that when I come and get my morning meds, I just grab these, grab my nebulizers, and go and do my treatments over by the couch. I have my extra Arabica and any other medications I might need. So ignore the mess, but like I said, I don't really like to have it glaring that I have cystic fibrosis when you walk in, but it's kind of hard to hide that. So this is actually my little cart that I keep all of my treatment um, equipment on. If you'll notice, this is a different vest than you normally see because I have my Aflo vest over here with all of my packing things for Europe because I just don't really want to have to remember to do that the morning of. So I just decided to bring out my old vest from college and I put this on this little cart that I got from Ikea. I know a lot of other CFers have this cart too. 
Um, the top, like I said, my vest and my vest machine and everything. Second shelf, I have my essential oils diffuser. I have my Perry nebulizer and all the little containers that are for my research study that I spit into every morning. And down on the bottom, I just keep extra tubing, a heating pad just in case for my stomach, and my Perry E Rapid. But I usually use that one during vacations, so that one's usually kept down on the bottom. But it's not usually too noticeable if that giant uh, vest wasn't on top. The last place that I keep medications, do you know where they are? <laughs> the last place I keep medications is, well, not, not with the flamingo, is in my little organization pantry type linen closet. And down here I keep all of my medications that I wouldn't normally keep over in my cabinets just because they would take up too much room. So that is my, or can be, any extra, you know, hypertonic saline, more Zen Pep because I have, I feel like a million containers of that. You know, things from the hospital, just random, do you need help? Random medication paraphernalia, Sharps container, an extra nebulizer, and the same thing in here. Extra neb cups, albuterol, another Arabica, and uh, port flush supplies in the bottom. But I usually get mine flush at the infusion center now. So this is my yet another little area that I just stockpile medications, but try and keep it out of sight, out of mind for the most part. So like I said, this video is a little bit shorter than normal, but very important. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys got any ideas from any of the way I organize everything to hopefully help you in your day-to-day -day organization in your life with cystic fibrosis. And like I said before, I think the main component to being compliant is organization. So this is why it is so important because you're so much more likely to do something when it's easy. And if you organize your life so that taking your medications and being compliant is as easy as it is, then you're gonna have so much more likelihood to do it. So try and stay organized, try and make it as easy on yourself to be as healthy as you can be, and that's all of our goals at the end of the day. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next week. All right, bye.